Hello. Where am I? Hi, what Rachi. Happened? Uh, oh, I don't know. My brother, you were so close. I swear I will find you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Too much of her. Time again will tell. Thank you for joining me. My name's Pikazo. Uh, today we are playing Rachi. If you haven't already figured that out by the title. Uh, this is the first, wait, I don't know. I don't remember if I played this part. Oh, I think I did and I got lost. Um, but yeah, this is the, uh, sixth installation of my replay because I realized that I didn't have everything. And had to go back through the fortress of Chaidar. And I've done a little bit of this, but I don't actually remember what happens. I just know, like, things aren't great. So, with that in mind, uh, yeah. I would like to add if you do enjoy my. Oh, no. What can it mean? What are those creatures that chase it? If you enjoy my content and my randomness and the stuff that I say and do and play, please like and subscribe. Um, but yeah, welcome aboard the Pikachu train. For now. Uh. The Garuda game. But see, Rangda has the soldiers under her spell. Who's Rangda? A fresh mortal at the gate. Greetings, little fly. Welcome to my web. <laughs> oh, that voice is not a nice one. Okay, so we come down here. Oh, that sound is not nice. Um. Then. Go here. A city of such beautiful waters, but the waters are now choked with poison. Uh. There used to be many more lotus flowers. They always brought me such joy, and Raji can grow more. Ah! I didn't even get to finish that. Conversation, Rishnu and Okay. We are redoing this. Um Um, um, I hope that this is- allows me to hear what she says, what they say, at least. I hope it's everyone's having a good one. Ah, uh, and... Mm. A city of such beautiful waters. There we go. The are now choked with poison. There used to be many more lotus flowers. They always brought me such joy. And Raji can grow more, if only she thinks of it. Uh. So I can grow more. I want to come out here and see if I can... jump that far? I don't know. I don't think I should be out here. But I wanted to see if I can see more.
Oh, interesting. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go across because. I feel like that there is more, but I don't know if I can get across. wanted to see what was happening over there, but I guess there really isn't much. <laughs> ah, curiosity kills a cat. Alright, Picazel, pay attention to what you're doing. Okay, we got this. anything over there for me. Okay, I need one more lotus flower. Jump, jump. Where? Where does this take me? Wow, this is an expanse. Where am I? All these floating lotuses. That is the shrine to mighty Lord Vishnu. This must be Hiranyanagari. I have heard such tales of this place. Where is Hiranyanagari? <laughs> she recognizes the city built to your glory. Are you not pleased, O Vishnu? It was my city. Indeed, built to house my temple, but it is no longer mine. <coughs> Excuse me. Shadow is long. You must beat them, Raji. 
Yep, I'm ready killing him. On it, Lord Vishnu. Lord Vishnu? Yes. See what they built in my name. A magnificent city, a prosperous city filled with marvels. Delicate carvings and intricate mechanisms. Mills powered by water. Wheels that turn other wheels. That open gates and lift great weights. Uh -huh. I don't think there's anything else here. Alright, let's go this way. Janasura. Demons of water, mechanical slaves to run down. Be careful, my Rajan. Avoid their gaze. Ah! Oh my gosh. Yes. Ah, pretty nice. Those are very, very annoying ones. Oh wow, over Peacock, it cries out. Is it hurt? Does the peacock need help? I wonder if Raji brings help. Ah, there's another one. Getting better at it. Do you remember what I keep in my temple, Durga? Of course. That gives her a chance. But the way is blocked. Look, the guardian waters are high. There are mechanisms to lower them. But what does she know of cocks and wings? She is clever, this girl. She will find a way. This is so cool. Cogs and wheels. Let's try it this way. What else is there to see? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, to the right or to the left? Let's try this. This is confusing. I'm going to lose my way so many times. But it's so pretty. The famous guardians of Piranha. They are restless. Something is wrong. Randa has corrupted even the fish. It can be put right, Vishnu. It is why we are here. So that was the fish that was in the previous cutscene. Wow, 
This is pretty. It's a little loud though. I hope you can hear me. Okay. Uh, which way to go? This way? Uh, let's try the other way first. What is this? Oh, it's a mandala. Let's line up the red with the red. And then more red with the red. Rich, rich. There we go. And then red and orange with the red and orange. And then turn, turn. Why do we have no mother, no father? They are up there in the stars, little brother. She did try to explain to him. Ow. Oh, what the heck? Okay. I think I prefer Spear for this one. Yes. I'm ready. No outline appears though. Like, the heck? Such a narrow walkway. Hold on. If there's no... Let me have a look and see if there's any other ways around before I go there. Yeah, I'm gonna go down here first. Yes. Hmm? Platforms? So many. Oh, hello! Okay. I don't think there's a way for me to get there. There. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's open this up. This one. This one. Yes. We have Dia's mandala, and now... Do I want spear? Do I want spear, or do I want this? I'll do this one first. There you go. Alright. Nice. Better. Much better. That was easier, too. Uh, where am I? Okay. Huh. Can go across or go up, right? 
I'm gonna go this way. Thank you. I'll take it. Yes. More favor orbs. Um. Second. What? Oh, okay. I guess. Hmm. This one. Yes. All right. Oh, not this way. Am I now? Your foulness has no place here. Oh my god. Okay. Talk to stop moving. Easy. Okay. Okay. And these are the boys I can. Ah, my gosh. Health. Nice. Give me my health back. Nice. Pretty nice. Okay, where am I? Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, I can jump at the wall. Okay. Health, very nice. And health. Okay. Is that it? It is over. Nice. What is this way? This is a place of cunning. The mills, the water that feeds the green fields. There is no denying it is clever, Vishnu. It is such a concentration of power. Ah! It is in hands. Sorry, I am coming. Yes, we are coming. I'm getting better at that. As long as I have a wall, it's not hard. Oh, 
is there here? Do, do, do. Oh, that's just false advertising over there. Mm -hmm. Which way do I go? Ah, here. What is this? Speak to me. Will you not wake up? They've been taking These control. They have no will. Their minds are clouded by Ranga's shadow. She has no so idea. The city was taken without any way to fight back. They are alive, and so they can be freed. That is true, Vishnu. That is true. It's so fascinating, this little light over here. I think it's a candle, and that's just like the reflection it creates on the ground. Ah, I shall take this too. I now have three. Oh, it's a story! See here. It is the story of Garuda. There were two sisters, Kadru and Vinita. The most dear of wives of Maharshi Kashyap. He granted each a boon to show his affection. Kadru asked to become the mother of a thousand sons. Vinita asked for just one son, but that he must be more powerful than the thousand sons of Kadru. Blessed by the Maharshi, Kadru gave birth to one thousand eggs. Vinita gave birth to only Two eggs. With time, Kadru's eggs began to hatch. Inside each one was a coiling snake. Hmm. Okay. Vinita, impatient and jealous that her sister's eggs had already hatched took it upon herself to break open one of her own eggs. Inside Vinita's egg was a half-formed bird-like creature. Enraged by his mother's actions, he cursed her, saying that she would be a slave to Kadru until her second egg hatched. And if she did not show patience with that hatching, she would forever be a slave. And so, under the curse of a half-formed offspring, and through the machinations of Kadru and her Naga children, Vedita became a slave to her sister. Hmm. Vinita's second egg finally hatched. From it emerged Garuda, the king of birds. Seeing his mother's servitude, 
Garuda asked the Nagas to free her. They agreed, but on the condition that Garuda would fly to heaven and fetch for them the elixir of immortality. Garuda, for his mother's sake, flew to the heaven of the Devas. He was too powerful for the Devas to defeat and so seized the elixir from them. I saw that Garuda did not want the elixir for himself and so I manifested myself to him. Because his heart was pure, I granted him the gift of immortality. In return, he granted me the gift of becoming my mount. Oh wow. Should I so desire it? I warned Garuda of the deceptive nature of the Nagas. So Garuda returned to the Nagas with the elixir, but tricked them, telling them that it could only be consumed after they had purified themselves in the holy river. He attacked them unsuspecting as they bathed and ate them up. He freed his mother, Vinita. For safekeeping, Brahma took the elixir and bore it back to the heavens. That's really cool. Okay. Well, ladies and gents, do we want to stop here? I think I'll keep going and then I will. But we're necessary. I think we're gonna pause here and we'll come back at the next one. Thank you for joining me. This is Pikachu Plays. This is the sixth, oh, sixth installment of Raji or the seventh. I, yeah, seventh actually. I hope you had a good one and I'll see you at the next one. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Till next time. Bye.